Probability, here we go. So today we are going to talk about randomness and probability, the basics. The next video we'll talk about simulation, then we'll get more into the rules and finding actual probabilities in the next few sections. So here we roll. In this section we're going to talk about the idea behind probability and we're going to describe some myths about randomness and misconceptions about probability. In the next video, we will design and perform simulations for certain situations. So the idea of probability, it's all about chance behavior. And chance behavior is very unpredictable over a short term of time. But as we do chance behavior over a very long period of time, many, many trials. Usually there's a predictable pattern and a regular pattern to what's going on. And that's what the law of large numbers says. It says that if we observe more and more repetitions of any chance process, the proportion of times that a specific outcome occurs approaches a single value. For instance, flipping a coin. That would be a chance process. And if we just flip a coin a couple times, it might go tails, tails, tails. But if we flipped a coin 500 times, we would expect that that proportion of tails comes out to be about one half. That's probability. So the definition of probability is any, it's the proportion of times the outcome would occur in a very long series of repetitions. It's a number between 0 and 1. 0 meaning that thing can never occur. A 1 means that it's guaranteed to occur. So the probability of getting tails is 1 half because if we flipped a coin thousands of times, we would expect that we would eventually balance out, if you will, to getting tails half of the time. And here is a visual for what I just said. So we flip a coin once, we get tails. We flip it twice, we got heads, so now the proportion of heads is one half. Then we flip tails again, so the probability, or the experimental probability, the proportion drops to one third. Then we get tails again, then we get tails again, now we got a heads. Then we got a tails, we got heads, 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 heads. Tails, 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 heads, tails, tails, tails. And you can see that over a long period of time, we get real close to that one half probability. At the beginning, over a real short run of time, it's not real predictable. We could have runs of the same value. But that doesn't mean that we'll be get the next thing is more likely to be heads or tails. A coin has no memory of what side it landed on last. The different flips are independent of each other and that's something that you need to remember. So some myths about randomness. We have a person in the doctor's office. So the law of averages doesn't guarantee me a girl after seven straight boys. Um, this is a misconception. This is a myth that, okay, I, I, I've had seven kids they're all boys. I really want a girl. I'm due. I'm due to get a girl. Well, no. Um, it doesn't matter that you had seven straight boys. That has no effect on the next child. It doesn't matter that you lost 50 hands in a row at blackjack. You are no more likely to win the next one as you were the others. Each hand doesn't remember what the previous one. Each roll of a dice doesn't remember what the previous one, each flip of a coin doesn't remember what the previous one was. So this is really looking at the myth of short run regularity. Our intuition tries to tell us that random phenomena should also be predictable on the short run. I, I lost twice, I'm due to win. It's called the gambler's fallacy sometimes. Or I'm 
winning a lot. I'm on a run. I'm, I'm on a streak. I'm going to keep going. Well, no, that next one doesn't have anything to do with the one that you just did. Or you're shooting baskets on a basketball game. Somebody sh makes five shots in a row. Studies have been done to show that that sixth shot has nothing to do with the previous five. In the long run, their shooting percentage is going to be the same. So the idea of getting hot or being lucky in the short run doesn't hold much mathematical weight. The law of averages, it's the long run, and future events aren't affected by the previous past ones. So you have to remember these two things. Short run, we know nothing about it. Short run is just short run. We can't make any predictions on it. Um, we also can't make the assumption or the thought that what has already happened influences what's going to happen next most of the time. So in this next section, we are going to look at simulation.